What's going on guys? Sibor Terabai Reacts here and I am back with another super reaction. Final, final super reaction for Ippo. And then I'm going to try to dive into the manga. I'm definitely going to be reviewing the manga guys. Um, most definitely. Um, <clears throat> challenge to you guys out there. If you could shoot me the chapter... That would be great, so I don't have to do it myself. Um, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> but if you could send me what chapter they left off at at the end of this season, that would be great. Um, I know somebody out there knows um, what chapter it is. So what I'm going to be doing is, as I read the manga, I'm gonna, just going to review after every fight. That's what I'm planning to do. So I'll put a review up on YouTube um, after every fight. Unless you guys want me to do live reactions. If you want me to do live reactions, I'll do that. Um, not for every single chapter. But, like, if you want me to do a live reaction of, like, maybe, like, 10 chapters at a time or something like that. If you want me to do that, I'll do that so you can see my reaction instead of just doing a review. If you want me to do that, I will do that. But, you guys, I'll put the, the, the um, I'll put a... Um, a poll out there uh, that's what we use the community tab to do to get these polls done so if you guys want that all the Ip people who watch Ippo on the channel if you want that you can get that okay so we're gonna jump into Ippo reaction now to Takamura just won his second world title congratulations to him of course it was a great fight and as i've said before i don't think it's a top five fight in the anime so far but i definitely think it's a top 10 fight hands down right maybe it's at that number six spot you know maybe it's at that number six spot. maybe after when i'm finished watching then we can do we can watch like top 10 fights in in ippo and you know, because I know I know that video is out there somewhere. That somebody made that video. Top 10 fights in Ippo. Um, so we can I can react to that. And then if I can react to that and then discuss if I dis if I agree or disagree with the order, whatever the situation is. So let's jump into this reaction, man. You guys already know. Link in the description to go watch it. And if you have if you can't watch it on the Google Drive, there's going to be another link there for you to watch it at BitChute. You can choose where you want to go and watch it. It does not matter to me. Um, just as long as you guys go watch the reaction, which whichever the link. I'm going to put both links there because I know at some points when everybody's trying to watch it, it's not going to work for you. Okay, so if you want to go watch it at BitChute... Um, you can if you want to go watch it on the Google Drive. You can. Doesn't matter. It's going to be at both places. So thank you guys for watching as always. Go and watch the reaction. Come back right here to come sit with your boy and watch the review. Okay. Thank you guys. See you for the review. Yes, I'm back and I'm doing the review. That was really, really, really emotional for me because what is that? Yeah, um, it's one of those those animes that you wish could continue. And it's not. And I think that's why really why I'm so emotional. Because if it wasn't ending. If it wasn't the end. I don't think I would be so emotional about it. Because. When did we start watching Ippo? Like. I want to say some like November or something like that. Um, So to be here in March. I didn't know I would get this emotional over it. Because I spent. Naruto meant a lot more to me because of the things I went through earlier in my early 20s and it was a Naruto was kind of like that positive 
constant. You know what I'm saying? That positive constant to never give up. You know? And that's why I'm in the position I am today because if it wasn't for the, for Naruto as an anime, it you know, to me basically living vic- living through that character. You know, just going through so much, seeing him go through so much and never giving up. And to see his his goals that he set come through. It was at the end of Naruto, it was he 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 achieved everything he wanted. You know. He became Okage. You know, he became Okage. He got he got a girl he didn't even know he was that was in love with him. You know, and he didn't really actually realize that he was was in love with her. If you've watched Naruto the last, he didn't really know that he was in love with her until Sakura really had to help him to understand that he actually was in love with Hinata, with Hinata you know. So it's the same kind of feelings I'm having about this anime because they should bring it back because it's so it's such a. It's such a well-written anime. You know what I mean? It's such a a well-written anime. And I relate to it a lot. And I'm going to say Ippo reminds me of Naruto. Um, you know, his, his story is, is, is unique by its own right. But the way how they wrapped it up there, you could see why they maybe not was planning to bring it back because all the main characters you got to see their backstory now um so i don't know if it was done in 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 the manga maybe i'll go check to see if it was done in the manga because it it might not have been it could have been just filler to end the season to bring it up to 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 25 episodes it could it could have just been that um but that it it was an awesome story. I was really trying to hold it together until the end, but it it it, it broke me because I know it's ending and I'm not I'm not gonna be watching it anymore, you know. Um, I get like this sometimes when it comes on to stuff because I remember all the stuff that I've been through in life and where I am where I am today. And anime reminds me of that a lot. It reminds me of that a lot. That's why I love anime so much because it's like real stories. You know, for the most part, it is real story. Even though a lot of the stuff is exa- is exaggerated, the jokes, the the you know the comedy, the fights, everything is exaggerated because it's you know it's entertainment also. But the emotional aspects of it, when you actually have, you know, when you can draw parallels from it. From anime and real life. You can see that these things you know. And I talk about it a lot. Because when it comes on to anime. There's so many life lessons. To to learn these authors. Are geniuses man. They're geniuses. They know how to bring out that emotion in you. And I I mean I don't want to come on here. And be you know. Tearing up in front of you guys. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to be crying. And you know showing you tears and stuff. But Sometimes things do overwhelm us in life. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, look at look at him. He, he a bitch or whatever the situation. But I really don't care. You know, I don't cry all the time. You know what I'm saying? But some, when something really, I have a heart too. You know what I mean? And I know some, you know, there are men out there, you know, they act like nothing can can ever hurt, hurt them. You know what I'm saying? And if you catch them crying, they're the worst criers ever. They they ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And ah, you know what I'm saying? Hysterical stuff. You know what I'm saying? But because I know what I've been through in life and a lot of these animes they remind me of that. So it's like not remind it it, it just empowers me more to move forward. You know, that's 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 to take a positive message out of everything that I do, that I watch, whether it be Game of Thrones or Rome or whatever I'm watching on this channel, I take life lessons from those because a lot of that stuff, even though it's it's taken from a different concept, it's a different world, it's fantasy, a lot of that stuff is a real person writing it. 
You know what I'm saying? It's a real person that comes up with this idea. So you are going to have those parallels from real life. The, the best writers draw from real life, draw from their own life, too. So for me, it's just like I'm I'm getting emotional because I know how much watching this has meant to me over the past three months or whatever. Just watching the whole series, it has meant a lot to me. Um, you know, and also the fact that there's no more episodes. So, so it's like, that's the reason why, and that's, you know, the very same reasons why, you know, episode 500 of, of episode 500 of Naruto Shupiden, I was bawling my eyes out just the same because, you know, they ended it on a great note, that great moment that Naruto had with, with, well, um, with Iruka Sensei, it was off the chain, him asking him to be, represent him as his dad at, you know, at the wedding, you know, that was really emotional, you know what I'm saying, because we all know what Iruka meant to Naruto, it was never... Um, a lot of people, we didn't know what was going to happen there because it was the way how they were playing it. We did not know he was going to do that, you know, or that's what they were leading up to him not being able to know exactly what he meant to Naruto and not be able to do that video. It, it was, you know what I mean? So we didn't know what it, what it was leading up to, but they dropped the bombshell, man, and it hit. I'm pretty sure it hit a lot of people. Because I've seen the reactions. I've seen the reaction. If you have not seen the reactions to that episode, go check them out. And pretty much everybody you see do a reaction to that video, they tear up right there in that episode. Episode 500. So, this was an awesome, awesome anime, man. I can't express enough how good it was. You know? I can't express enough how good it was. It was great awesome in every way every single way the comedy was on point there was nothing that fell flat all the fights were good even the funny ones um you know everything about anime was just well done um except for the fact that they didn't bring back that ost yes i'm still salty about it <laughs> yeah i'm still salty they should have brought back that OST, man. But, you know, as somebody kind of explained to me that maybe they couldn't afford to bring it back because it was like the licenses for the first season and then they couldn't maybe couldn't get the licensing back for the second season. Because, you know, budgets drop and stuff like that, you know. That's why I said one of the things that I want to do in... Because one of the things that I want to do are one of the things that I've actually written down as a goal, even though I was joking about it, that, you know, that's something that I would pay for. It is actually one of my goals that I had written down that if I acquire enough money is one of the things that I would fund these, these animes, because these people, they're putting out quality entertainment and they don't get paid enough for it. I don't know if you guys know that they do not get paid enough excellent voice actors and and animators over there and they don't get paid enough for, to do this stuff not like americans do you know what i'm saying i mean vi um people who create video games in america they get paid a shitload of money right to put out shitty ass content sometimes you know what i'm saying and you have these people over here. They they sweat over this stuff. They love it so much. Sometimes they even do it for free. You know. So. That's one of the things that I. I and now you see investors. Oh, from American investors. Are trying to invest in. In. Um, <clears throat> in the. In the East. Or. You know. Japan. Europe. And stuff like that. To get. You know. Um bring anime mainstream over here you know that's why you had the dragon ball um dragon ball broly movie super um broly movie was in theaters here even though it was select theaters it was still here in theaters um i don't know i think it's the first one actually um to actually um i think it's the first dragon ball movie to ever be in theaters over here 
Um, if I'm incorrect, please correct me, but I think it is. Um, I know, I know that Naruto movies has been in theaters over here because Naruto is pretty popular here. So it would be blasphemy not to have them in theaters, um, in select theaters over here. Um, but I think that was the first Dragon Ball from that series to be in the theaters over here. Um, so this was great, man. Hope you guys en enjoyed the journey as much as I did. Um, still have one more reaction to do tonight. So thank you guys for watching as always, man. Is is it's you can see that I'm I'm happy but disappointed at the same time that I'm not gonna be able to do any more of these. Um you know. So thank you guys for watching, man. If you have not subscribed to the channel that made sure you subscribe. There's more to come. I will be announcing the next anime that I'll be adding. I will be adding something modern because we're doing two old classics right now. Um, we're doing three classics. So I'm trying to get something modern on the channel um, for the next one that I'm doing. Okay. So you guys, um, if you want, you can go and suggest stuff. I have not completely settled on what I want to do yet. So you can... Um, you know what? I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll of the ones that I'm considering to do and you guys can can vote on it. OK, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, so look out for that in the community tab um, in your feed, in your YouTube feed and your subscription feed. Um, look out for that and make sure you vote. OK, so thank you guys for watching, man. And leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about this this um this reaction it was awesome man thank you guys for watching as always i'm about to go do evangelion make just so you guys know um i'm not there's not going to be an episode there's not going to be an episode i'm gonna let you guys know there's not gonna be those who watch um code gears on this channel there's not going to be a code gears reaction until thursday reason being um, I want to finish it up. So I'm doing a super reaction of Code Geass to end the season this for, for, for anime day on Thursday. Okay. So look out for that. Okay. So you're not going to get a Code Geass episode, to, um, with this reaction, to, um, tomorrow, Tuesday. Okay. You're not going to get a Code Geass reaction. So look for it. Don't ask for it. Okay. You're only going to get Ippo and event evangelion okay so thank you guys for watching as always man this was this was a trip this was a trip uh, i was getting emotional during during the episode i was trying to hold it in i was really trying to hold it in and i did until the till the end and the credits started rolling and i was like shit i'm going to break <laughs> i can't hold it in any longer um so it's, it was awesome it was awesome man it was an awesome ride thank you guys for watching as always man and it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace. See you for the next series, I guess, or keep watching them other ones. <laughs>